these are all the ingredients that we will require for the kaldin. Now, here I have about 250 grams of basa fillets that I've cut into equal size pieces. Then I'm going to be requiring one cup of coconut milk. You can use the milk, uh, the coconut packet, or you can use fresh coconut milk. This is some salt to taste. Then I require some haldi or turmeric powder, about one teaspoon, half a teaspoon of pepper powder, half one teaspoon of cumin or jeera powder, and one teaspoon of coriander powder. I also require six cloves or lavang. Then I have seven cloves of garlic, which I've chopped very fine. One inch of ginger chopped very fine. Half a tomato chopped very fine. And one small onion chopped very fine. Also one and a half teaspoon of white vinegar. Now I list all of these ingredients down in my description box below. Now I just heated about two tablespoons of oil and I just lightly like to fry uh, the fish on both sides for half a minute or so. This not only flavors the oil with the lovely fish flavor but it also you know makes the fish cook faster and it just has a very good uh, different type of a lovely taste to it. Try this out guys, instead of putting the fish directly in, just give it a little bit of a fry on both sides for half a minute each. Once that is done, just take out the fish and set it aside. And now we're going to uh, add all the other ingredients. So we're going to start by adding the cloves of the lavang to the oil. Then we're also going to add our finely chopped ginger, garlic and onions. Now we're going to fry all of this very well together. Now as this is frying on a low heat, uh, keep an eye on it. We're going to mix up the powder masalas, that is the turmeric powder or the haldi powder, the coriander powder, the cumin powder and the pepper powder. And we're going to add a little bit of water, about a tablespoon or two, and we're going to make a little paste of it. And then we're going to add this paste to our uh, fried onions and ginger garlic. Then I'm also going to be adding about half a cup of water to this and we are going to let this water come to a boil. So mix everything well. You can keep the heat on a little higher, I mean medium to high and just keep stirring and let the water come to a boil. Now once the water comes to a boil, we're going to add this coconut milk. Then we're going to lower the flame and we're going to just stir it. Then I'm going to add some salt to taste. Again, give it a good mix. And then we're going to add the tomatoes. So mix everything well again. And remember to keep the heat on low to medium. And now we're going to add the fish back to this mixture. Once that is done, we're just going to um, cover it up and we're going to cook it for about two to three minutes or till the fish is nice and cooked. Now you, you know that the fish is cooked because if you take a spoon or a knife and just cut one of the pieces gently and if it really comes apart, that means your fish is ready. Now, basa takes very little time to cook and I personally like basa because, uh, you know, it doesn't have many thorns. And now I'm just adding the vinegar and I'm going to let it uh, cook for about a minute and then I'm going to switch off the heat. And your kaldin is ready. I have tried kaldin with everything, with prawns, with kingfish, or surmai, and pomfret. 
all of them taste amazing but i personally like basa so now this he just turned off and i just can't wait to dig in so i have this rice cooking and i'm just waiting to have it so you are have transferred the kalbin into a lovely serving tray or serving bowl and i also have my rice all ready i cook it the goen way i will leave a link on how i cook my rice so you can check that link out by just clicking on it in my description box as well as my comments box so it's time to serve so here i have my rice and now all i have to do is add this gorgeous kalbin and i just can't wait to dig in Well friends the fish is just cooked right and the flavor of this kalbin is just mind blowing it's so light and so delicious and it makes me so nostalgic because my grandmother that's my dad's mom and my dad used to make the best kalbin ever and I mean it just has a different flavor for those of you who haven't had kalbin before guys give this a try you can use any white fleshed fish or prawns and in fact prawns goes very well if you add some okra or bhindi too you just add about four or five okras or bhindi to it and let it cook and it it just tastes amazing So I hope you like today's recipe. I hope you'll give it a try and let me know in the comments box below how you liked it. I know basa is not the traditional way so I might be getting comments from people saying how can you put basa